Why the wing tee for ChiefPigskin.com? This is Coach Jim McKee from Scott County High School in Georgetown, Kentucky. Reasons why running the wing tee is awesome. It's a hot offense and all fans will want you to run it. The, the crowd is laughing. I'm, I'm actually not speaking to a crowd, but that was a joke. All the dads will think you are a genius. Number three, the fans will never yell, throw the ball from the stands. And I'm sure there's plenty more. Actually, what I do, and I would recommend this, I wear headphones that cover both ears. So when the, at halftime, when we go, boom, you know, half, in we go, we're on the jog. I never take them off until we're in the locker room, and I always just say, keep moving, guys. Keep moving, guys. Keep moving, guys. And we go in the locker room, then I can take them off. Because I'm not going to listen to the guy who's always saying, throw the ball. Uh, guys, you got uh, to run the wing tee and be committed to it. It is challenging. It's not what you see, although you could sit down and try to explain to somebody how many buck sweep con uh, concepts Cam Newton was using when he was winning the national championship at Auburn. People that are general football fans want to see a team in the shotgun and at least want them to think that they're going to throw. Special thanks, Scott County High School Administration. Joe Covington's our principal. Appreciate him. Uh, Joy Lusby, Jamie Hawkinsmith, D.T. Wells are our assistant principals. Appreciate their support of our program. Appreciate our assistant coaches. Um, as I said in one of the earlier presentations, I've coached there long enough now that I've coached guys that that uh, played for us there, went off to college and played, came back and are teachers and coaches in our program right now. Uh, our players, our fans, our parents, everybody that makes our program special. Our staff at Scott County High School, the teachers that I work with. It's funny, we've got a lady, Delana Atkins, retiring uh, this year. And when she retires, I'm going to be the longest tenured teacher at our school. So there's no, not a single person left that was there when I got there. So I'm getting a little bit older, but I love working with those people every day. I appreciate ChiefPigskin.com for giving me this opportunity. Don't turn down an opportunity to promote your program when you can. Uh, we live in a promotion-based society, and so we're fired up to talk about Scott County football. In this picture are my sons. That's Colby. He's got the international hat on. Uh, Clay's got the White Sox hat on. I've got the Michigan State hat on, which you're going to Find out why later. And Cade's got the eye black on just after he finished a eighth grade game against Joy's rival school. Pretty neat experience right there in that picture. That's Colby when he's a sophomore, and that's Clay when he's a senior, and Colby's snapping the ball to Clay. So I had one son playing center, one son playing quarterback in the 2014 season. Uh, Colby's got, he, he said, uh, man, anytime we play against a 50, somebody's always hitting me in the elbows. So he's got those uh, self-made elbow pads on. You can look at the size of Colby right there and the size of his arms when he's over the ball snapping it. And you can tell that we get after it good in the weight room because there's Colby when he's a senior. And you can see what a change he's made in his body. Uh, as I said, he's 19 years old. He's a redshirt freshman at Austin P. So uh, go Govs. There's Cade's eighth grade picture. He was a quarterback there at uh, Scott County Middle School in the eighth grade, and uh, he should be our quarterback for the fall 2018. There's my mom and dad. Uh, those are all of us after Clay's senior year. We're up at Ryle. We've won a game there against Ryle, and so I appreciate their support uh, in, in supporting football. We're a football family. Uh, almost everybody in our family is a part of the game in one way or another. There's Clay playing at Georgetown College. Loves those orange cleats. Uh, and then I've got, uh, how many people in five seconds or left, less recognize that play? That's when Michigan had Michigan State beaten uh, three years ago. All they got to do is get the punt off, and they mishandle the punt, knock it away. Michigan State picks it up, runs it in, uh, wins on the last play of the game. Number 44, uh, who's knocking the ball away from the punter right there, Grayson Miller played at our high school. 
uh, outstanding young man, will be a senior at Michigan State this fall. A little bit of a history of our school. Uh, I finished my 21st year at Scott County High School. We're 6A. We're the largest high school in Kentucky. And uh, I don't really like doing this, frankly, um, talking about how many points we've scored or what our record's been, because really we have good players. And uh, that's, that's the key. We live in a football-based community where lots of kids grow up coming to the game on youth league night and, and playing middle school football. They want to be football players. They want to they be a Cardinal when they're, when they're in high school. So that's why we've won games. But we have done, done it running wing tee. Uh, we've won at least 10 games for the last 10 seasons. And uh, earlier ago, a little bit ago, Nate asked me, said, well, you know, are you ever out from under center? I said, well, no. I mean, we, we can go spread two by two and throw a hitch, which I might do just for looks every once in a while. But no, we're really not out from under center. 2011, we're 14 and one, scored 669 points, averaged 44.6 a game. I'm not going to sit there and read them all to you, uh, but 2013, we're 15 and 0, scored 778 points. So in the last two, four, six, seven seasons, the least number of points we've averaged in a single game is 44. Uh, and we play we play some of the same people yearly, Metro Lexington, Kentucky area, and we're very proud of the fact that. Uh, in the last seven seasons. We're 64-2 and two against Kentucky schools in the regular season run a wing tee. Why wing tee? Well, for one, it fits our school system. We're a county school system. Uh, we, got, we got a lot of uh, physically tough, big kids. We have a very well-organized feeder system. We have three middle schools that feed into our program. All of those middle schools have direct connections to our high school. Uh, Georgetown Middle School's coach was one of our varsity assistants for about nine years. He's now there. Scott County Middle School's head coach has had two sons play for us. Royal Spring Middle School's head coach has a son in the, in the program now. So we've got a lot of people pulling the boat in the same direction and that believe in the wing tee. Number two, very, very few people run it, and it gives you a huge advantage in my opinion. Most teams build their defense to stop some version of a spread offense. They'll, how many snaps will school A spend working against an under center offense during the preseason? Will they spend more time in seven on seven or inside run? I bet you they're gonna spend more time in seven on seven or exterior run. Okay, so it's going to give you a huge advantage. Defensive and defensive emphasis is on stopping the spread. When you line up in three backs, you've got a big advantage. You can adjust the offense to the particular skill set of your team in any given year. This past year, we threw for over 1,600 yards. We played 14 games. Now, is 1,600 yards 4,000? No, it's not. But we had a very effective, efficient passing game. In 2007, our quarterback was not a very accurate thrower, but he was a very good runner. We threw for about 600 yards. So we were able to adjust the offense to the strength of our personnel. It's fun. It's cultural. For us, it's cultural. I, I think if I came in and, and we weren't going to run it, people would, would say I'm on the panic button. Why not, Wing T? Here's what people are going to tell you. You're never going to catch up if you get behind. Well, you know, the first thing I'm going to tell you right there, don't get too far behind. You know, have your kids coached up, have a good special team scheme, have a good defensive scheme, have them fired up and ready in the first quarter, and don't get very far behind. But if you do get behind, and set, install a set of code words to fly and go no huddle. We can fly up and down the field. We can score in the short period of time when the offense is clicking without ever huddling by just using code words. You know, we'll, we'll sit there and we'll go, bears, buck, trap. Hoover's buck sweep, Bulldog's belly sweep. So we've got about six or seven plays. We can just call out the word and roll. It's not good on third and long. They're always going to tell you that. Well, not many offenses are good for third and long. I, I guarantee you, no matter who's standing in front of this camera speaking today, nobody's going to say, now listen, I, here's what I want to do. I want to jump off sides on first down. 
Okay, repeat first down, gain two yards on a poorly called run. On second down, I want to run a little misdirection play and lose a couple because I want to get in third and 14 because I've got 10 plays for it. All right, so what I tell you is stay out of third and long. Learn how to call plays and understand, understand how to stay ahead of the sticks. And then when you do get in third and long, give yourself a legitimate chance to get a first down. Our favorite play in third and longs is buck trap. You know, we, we want to we go and run our quick fullback trap, and I can't tell you the number of times that it's broken. Now, I'm going to get to some film. So I don't want this to be just a cut-up session, and I also don't want it to be so detailed that I don't get through everything I'm doing. We're in red. We're playing Fort Thomas Highlands High School this past season. We're in slot left formation right here. Good. All right, so what we did right there, we're running slot left 14, fullback belly. Boom, boom, boom. Teach your fullback right there. Read your blocking back. Watch your blocking back. Use his right shoulder. Bam! That guy's 145 pounds. He lifts weights like crazy. He's strong. He's low. Three's walking off because we got a wheel route off of it. Boom. Play one. Play two. Now, we like to have a thread out here at wide out. 14, Glenn Covington's a good player. Caught 48 passes for us this year. We have the ability, when, when I can do it from the sideline, now I'll let the quarterback do it something this year. He's a senior. We'll just come up and go, easy, easy. And that just tells everybody we're, we're running the quick stand pass out wide and, and, and what they're doing. So we see him off, and it's either come from the sideline or the quarterback's done it. He's just come up and gone, easy, easy, and we're going to throw the stand pass out wide. We call it an arrow route. Boom. Kid's extremely accurate thrower. Now, look at the great effort right there that we're getting by our dive back. That's a, that's a run and play, guys. That's stealing yards. Okay. Now we're going to run our toss play. Now, this is not wing T. This is not, this, you wouldn't find this in the Delaware book. But it's, it's an old wishbone toss type play that we love. We can run it tight side, we can run it open side. We're going to run tight side toss right here. Boom. Bam. Look what a great job our guys are doing. Look at the angle by the motion back, the tight end. Boom. 71's around the end. Back understands how to cut it. In and out. We get a kick and a seal, kick, boom, in, back out. Great job. Back to belly. Boom. Look at our guys right there, men. I want you to watch our blocking back. I want you to watch what makes, what makes a great football player. What makes a situation that you love to coach is this. Here we go. He's about 145. Boom. Bam. Touchdown. Arms up. Nine blade drive. Never touched the ball. And he's getting ready to go cover the kickoff. That's what I love. Zero carries in first 10 plays. Jack, we scored. Always put the team first and above yourself. Then go cover kickoff. All right, here comes belly, uh, belly Sweep. We were playing in 2011 in a JV game at John Harden High School. So uh, we, we had it on a Saturday, so it was just me and one other coach took them. So we're up early on the bus. We go down. It's a pretty good drive, and, and uh, we got, the, got a filmer with us. So we're up, he's up top filming. We're playing, and... 
ah, it's about the middle of the second quarter. And they run some kind of play, and we're like, man, what was that? And they're a wing T team, and they fool us, and they go ripping around the end. And we didn't, we, we didn't, never did figure it out. We halfway got it slowed down. They ran it four or five more times that game. But we never, like, got it stopped. We didn't know what it was until we got home and got on the film, and that's when we started running belly sweep in 2011. So we're going belly sweep right here, R13 sweep. Now we're running it to the open side, meaning to the, to the split inside. Bam. Boys, that's good, guys. Don't, don't make apologies for the film that you show when you've got clinic speeches. You ran at 700 plays last year. Find the good ones to show. Watch this. Kick. Seal, backs in between. Kick, seal, backs in between. Great fake by the fullback. Team we're playing has got pretty good coaches. They know what they're doing. Watch this freeze to free safety. Watch the safety running over at the top of the screen right behind the umpire. Watch the safety right behind the umpire get fooled. Touchdown. Look at that effort by your wide out. Well, you need to get some stand passes out there to him. All right, get your arrows out there to him. Freaking great job, Glenn. Now we're going to run the belly sweep to the wing side. Now we're, in, we're going to shift. We're going to run the belly sweep to the wing side. We got him. We got them right now. 71's got the defensive end turned in. 12's got the, deep, the outside linebacker turned out. We set them up. Three sets them up, and we're gone. Great hustle by the tight end. Watch the tight end cross the field. Good job, Landon. Great job, Landon. Getting your hands on that, on that guy right there. What, spring, what springs Bryce? Great job of the tight end. Great job of the wide out. Boom. Boom. Cut it. Look at the effort those guys are giving. Guys, that's, that's how you win. Uh-oh. I'm not even going to have to go get. Look at Nate. I fixed it myself, Nate. All right, so here we go. Belly sweep, wing side, boom, boom, cut it. Great effort, tight end. Great effort, 53, because that's as fast as you can run. Look at that effort those guys are doing to get down there and get him, get down there and help Bryce. Woo! Fires me up. Is it August? Okay. Belly sweep, open side. Nope. Too much huddle here. Belly sweep, open side. Play seven in the cut up. Boom. Boom. Watch us fool the outside linebacker with the fake. Watch the outside linebacker dive in right here. Boom, we got him. We don't even have anybody to block out there. Awesome job, Peyton Brown. Now, guys, if you want specific help on how to teach these plays or the way that we teach it, there's more than one way to teach it, brother. I can guarantee you that. But the way we teach it, you contact me and come see us anytime. Touchdown. Untouched. Belly sweet. We'll play action off of it. Keep in mind now, we've been hitting this team with belly sweet. Bump. Poke it. Back down the seam, wide open. Here's, here's how we throw the football. A, B, run. Primary, secondary, run. On the belly sweep, primary's right down the seam. 
Check down. Right there on the out. R13 sweep Bryce seam. Great catch, Bryce. Another belly sweep. Shifting. Why do we do so much shifting? Here's why, guys. I'll show you later in the cut up. People are going to practice against, they're going to say, okay, you're on the tight end. You go to the tight end side. You go to the wide outside, whatever. So as soon as you flip people around, you're going to either go against somebody that has not been practicing that specific stuff all week, or you're going to get the defense running around. Belly sweet. Got him. Great block by Fryman. Fryman's number three, the dive back. He gets the outside linebacker to suck in. Watch the dive back force him to suck in. Boom, there's a backside guard looking in to seal and does. 58. Great block, Nick. Good job, Glenn. Belly sweep to the house. Untouched. All right. Obviously, we can run buck sweep as well, and we do right here. So, by sitting in that formation, when we're sitting there in wing right, we're equally balanced on where we can attack you. We can attack you inside. We can attack you to the strong side. We can attack you to the weak side. We can throw the quick stand passes. We can throw play action. Buck sweep. Cut it. There we go. Watch the front side guard. Wing T people know this inside and out. Watch the front side guard engage. Bam. Watch the back side guard seal. Wing goes to the front side backer. Boom, boom, cut it. Big gain on the buck. Off tackle down. Got to get a little bit better effort out of Bryce right there. Off tackle down. Bam. Ah, trust your path, Peyton Brown. Great coaching point. Peyton Brown's number 12. The wings got to trust his path. Boom. Good run by Barnett, number 20, the fullback. We don't use what you would think of as a fullback, and uh, we probably ought to change the name in today's In Vogue Society. Call him the super back or something, but we, 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 we just use three running backs. Great. We're right back talking about what we're doing here on our quick pitch. So we're our list seven reach, which is our weak side toss. Boom. Boom. Now, it helps to have number three. That's just what I said earlier, guys. You know, you want to put your players in position to be successful, but the better your players are, the better football coach you're going to be. And this is a great numbers game. Good job by our motion man. Turn in. Here comes the guard on the kick or seal, and then Bryce cuts, and number three's gone. Look at that. Look at Glenn. Woo! Remember? Get those stand passes. Get those hitches out there to him. All right, now we're at Henry Clay High School. Now, notice his first down, close to midfield. Great down to take a shot. Belly keep. Boom. Guys around on the seal. A's the tight end on the smash. B's the back on the five and out. C's take off and run. Ball's on the money. That's because you can run the ball successfully, guys. Got to be able to run it. Now we're at Pleasure Ridge Park High School in Louisville. We're going to shift. We're in L formation. We're going to shift to R over. I'm right there. Remember I said I wear the headsets that cover both, so that's me. And you can see what we got.
you can see exactly what we got. One, two, three. Okay, we've got a defensive tackle, defensive end, an inside linebacker. Because we're unbalanced to the field, they've got both safeties set to the field. All right, so we're in a perfect situation on the backside to go one-on-one. -on -one. Crossed it, and we're out the gate. We're able to hold number 42 enough with a fake. 71 on the down block, 54 on the cross, 3 on the lead. Seam engaged with his right shoulder. Boom. Watch the fullback cut left. Practice that when you engage on fullback belly. Boom, boom, gone. Good job, guys. Same game. We're at Pleasure Ridge Park High School. Now we're unbalanced to the boundary. I see how they're going to line up to unbalanced. So again, they're going to put 27 and 20 to the boundary. Right there, we got a great number situation to the field to run belly sweep. They are running belly again. I'm sorry, I got the cut up out of order. Great job, Coach McKee. Again, guys, it's just a numbers game. They blitz the inside linebacker, so there's nobody for our dive back to block. He goes on up. We cross it. Great job by 71 and 54. Good job, Brian. Good job, Cameron. Boom, boom, gone. Here's the belly sweep. Again, guys, I love talking about wing T stuff. I'd be more than happy to share this stuff with you at any time. We're unbalanced right here. Now, let's see what kind of fake we get and see if the play side halfback's at full speed. The back should be at full speed when he takes the handoff. Boom. Barnett's tired, so he falls down. Come on, Barnett. Still, though, watch his freeze. Watch his freeze 17. Boom. And we're around him. Guys, that's a good football team we're playing right there. Kids are fast. Now we're going to run a toss play. Going to run our same toss play. We're R over again. So again, you can see at the top of the screen where they've got both safety stuck to the, to the unbalanced. Here comes the safety over on motion. Other safety sitting right on the hash. We got the numbers game on them. Tackle on tackle, bam. Motion man on outside backer, guard on inside linebacker. Great job. Run it right to my sideline or our sideline where I can sit there and communicate with the kids. I can tell the kids the numbers to block. I can sit there and scream at Peyton the number he's got. Boom. Good job by Bryce understanding the play. We get a kick out. Anytime you get a kick out, you got a dime cut and you're getting back outside. You're dime cutting and getting back outside. Great job, guys. L14 sweep. Now we're going to go, we're going to start out in unbalanced. We're going to shift the wing left. Now they're confused. Both safeties come to the tight wing side because we've been in so much unbalanced. Watch what we do to the inside linebackers. I'm going to play it back. Watch us freeze both inside linebackers with our fullback fake. Not only do we freeze them, boom, they chase. They turn their back to the ball carrier. Get a great reach block right there by the right tackle. 12 gets a good block. Bryce knows to cut inside and back out. Textbook. He's on a dead sprint when he takes a handoff. This is a system our guys believe in. You can tell by the kind of effort that they're giving. Down on the goal line, we use the same block blocking rules inside the five that we would use at the 50. Going to run 
belly right here and cross it. Not using any motion. Straight fullback ISO. Boom, boom. Good job, guys. Watch the right tackle 71 down. Or left tackle 71 down. Left guard 54 out. Blocking back through the hole. Boom, boom. Uses the right shoulder fullback to the left. Good job, men. We've hit them with a bunch of unbalanced belly. So now we're going to play action. Boom. Breaks down the seam. Check down to post. Boom. Great job by 71. Watch. Oops. No need to pause. I'm a master of this mic book now. 71 does a great job firing off on the play side. Three down the seam. Good job, Peyton Brown. Number 12. Great job, quarterback five. Take one in the gut. Boom, boom. Let her go. Touchdown. Like I said, guys, it's a good football team. We're playing right there. All right, now we're playing second round playoffs right now. We're playing Henry Clay, one of our rivals. Now we're off tackle power. Guys, that's kick out, wrap around. It's a power play right out of, right out of any I formation team a, a thousand times. Kick wrap. You know, people say, oh, they're stacking the box. They're stacking the box, throw. They're stacking the box. Hey, guys, you can put 14 people up, up in the box. It's not about what's in the box. It's about finding the angles and the alleys to run the football in. There's all 11 defenders within five yards of the ball. Nobody puts a hand on the ball carrier on, on the previous play before he gains five yards. Now we're play action. Pay close attention. We're R13 we're sweep right seam. Their front side safety is pretty well coached. He does a nice job. He jumps it. Check down routes he out. We get enough pressure, we don't have time. What I say wing T teams better do, they better stay out of freaking bad down and distance situations. All right, so what are you going to teach your quarterback on, on, on all play action? One, two, run. But run is up the middle. You're going to find solace or safety by going straight ahead from where you are. Do not try to run outrun outside pressure to the outside. Great job, quarterback, on this play. One's covered. He did not have time to look at two. He runs straight forward. Worst case scenario, we might lose a yard or two. Stay out of the big sack situations. Practice that during your split passing period. One, two, run up the middle. Boom, boom. Go, Josh. Now, Henry Clay did a nice job covering that. We'll show you later in the cut up how we're able to take advantage of what they're doing. Fourteen sweep. Good job here by Bryce, the, the wing back. Good job by the blocking back, Peyton. Boom. Way to be aggressive. Pad under pad. Guard carries it on. Bryce cuts right between them. Super job. Now we're going to go unbalanced and show you what we're doing from an unbalanced set. Now remember how they covered the, the seam pass earlier when I was going over it? Who covered it? Five covered it. Okay? The weak side safety. So they've practiced all week with a weak side, strong side safety, and they drilled five over and over on how to cover the seam pass. So when we go on balance right here, it's pretty clear to me what's going to happen. Five's going to walk over the tight end, the, the uh, corner that they've got covering a wide out rolls back. So this corner, he hasn't ever practiced the seam pass all week. 
There's a guy who's practiced the seam pass. Watch us seal the game in a couple plays on the seam pass out of unbalanced. Again, there's both their safeties. Boom. I mean, we don't even get a mid on 35. I should fire myself for putting that in a cut up. That's a pet peeve of mine, guys that make put bad plays and cut ups. I mean, you got 800 to pick from. But uh, we fool him so bad, he can't lay a mid on our guy. That's our tight end. Landon Easley, awesome job, Landon. Super effort. Watch your tight end effort. Watch him cut the guy off. That's awesome, Landon. It's a team first offense. You got to take pride in your faking. Watch us let the quarterback keep it right here. On the goal line. Boom. Walk him in. Good job, Josh. Got to be able to show patience inside the 10, especially inside the 5. Not to score a first play. Pound at them with simple stuff that your kids do extremely well. Okay. There was a keep. Watch this play. Game's on the line. 28-20, about six minutes to go. Okay, we're ahead, and again, we're unbalanced. Where's five going? See the tight end and the wing go to the same side? Tight end wing go to the same side. I screw up the mic book. We're back. There you go. Now, nine has not practiced against a belly sweep pass. Five has. Remember he covered it earlier? So here we go. There's the two safeties. There's the corner. Belly. Watch Peyton Brown. That's number 12. Come right off the fake. Pick up the pressure. Boom. Five sprinting to the belly. Sweet. Nobody. Ball game. Here's my coaching point on that. I don't care what offense you run. Doesn't make any difference to me what anybody does at their school. That's their business. But whatever offense, you, your staff, your players, whatever fits it, you got to know it inside and out. What are you going to do when somebody takes something away from you? All right? Our belly sweep pass, seam pass, is big for us. We tried it. They took it dead away from us. They were all over it. Our answer, we come back. We hit it out of unbalanced. And there's nobody there. Now we're playing Douglas High School in the regional finals. They're flip-flopping everybody to our ship. We're running the dive play, or, or what a lot of wing T coaches would call on. See, they have absolutely no idea where the ball is. Watch 28, the uh, tight side corner. 33, the safety, both chasing somebody without the ball. They led them in the box, or however many they had in the box, they didn't have anybody in that gap. Don't, don't let that bother you. Don't let that worry you. Now we're going to run. You see all the belly sweep we've run? Now we're going to run what we're going to call tight side belly sweep. We're going to hand the ball to the wing right there to the tight side. Now think about what's going to happen. We're going to inside release the tight end. What's that going to do to the defensive end? All right, that's going to let the force the defensive end to step down, which is going to give the dive back a great shot to block him. All right, we're going to run that tight end straight at the safety so he doesn't know what, if it's pass or run. Watch 28 and 33 retreat. See them both retreating. Great block by 12. Boom! 12 on 24. 28, 33, retreat. Fake for the fullback. We're gone. Tight side belly sweep. We still got guys running backwards, covering a receiver when the ball's already gained five yards. Good job, guys. Douglas pretty well coached. We had to do some things a little bit different in the playoff game. 
Here's X or double handoff. I, we, we, we run that a little bit differently than most traditional wing T teams. We're never going to hand the ball off twice. We're going to fake, boom, inside handoff by the quarterback. Watch this linebacker. He's taught to read that pull. He wants to make a pull call so bad he can't stand it. But he's getting all that action the other way. He doesn't do it. He won't trust his pull call. He should be going pull, pull, and send both the linebackers to the right, but he just won't trust it from the action. Good job. Way to make him miss, number 12, Peyton Brown. Buck Sweet. Here we go on Buck Sweet. Boom, we got him. Now you can notice right there, we're blocking tackle on tackle on Buck Sweet. Against a 50 defense that reads guards, if you can get your front side tackle to one of those linebackers, then he's more athletic than our tackles. All right, so we're going to block tackle on tackle against a 50 that reads guards. We're getting right up in between them right here. Here we go. Kick, seal, cut, house. Great job. Good job, Bryce. Good job, Peyton Brown, number 12. Good job, number three. Good job, both guards. There's Big Hudson hustling. 71, we're in the end zone. Again, they're flipping everybody around with our shift. We're belly sweep to the field. Look what a great hustle effort we get out of three. Watch the effort we get out of three on this play. He's a dive back. Come on, three. Come on, three. Keep blocking, three. Guys, that's pretty good. Good job by running backs, coach, right there. Uh oh. Got this one in there for a reason. If you run this offense correctly, you're going to run some guys totally wide open. And it's, it's not easy always to hit a completely open receiver. Okay, we're going to flip. We're an R over. Again, they're flipping people. They got the tight side corner. They got a safety walk down right here. The tight side corner to the unbalanced. We're faking belly sweet. Look how open we are. We missed it. I put it in there for a reason. You've got to practice throwing the ball to wide open receivers. What does a quarterback want to do? He wants to overthrow a wide open guy. Throw him a punt. I don't care if it's pretty. I don't care if the quarterback wants to look pretty. And Josh threw 99 out of 100 balls on the money to open guys. He missed him right there. He just got a little panicky. Woo! Missed him. Only going to get that chance once, maybe twice in a game. Better hit him. Pretty good job by them. That's why I put this play in there. Pretty good job by them defending it, and it still works. Open side belly sweet. Watch the D end come hard. He's taught to come hard by them. Watch him coming hard. Pow! Peyton's got him with his left shoulder. 12. Here comes 54 to wrap. There goes the mic book. I'm back. Here goes 54. Boom. He ends up kicking because the safety is coming hard in the alley. Bryce goes right in between them. Go on, Big Daddy, go on. Great hustle. That's a fullback down there with him. Got about five, six more plays. Guys, I've got all this stuff available. Anything I can ever do to help you. I also have been to the National Wing Tee Clinic in Pittsburgh, which I would recommend for wing tee guys. Well run, well done. All right, we're off tackle power. 
Look where the tight side corner is. He almost gives us a problem here. I got him circled the tight side corner. Boom. Great adjustment by our fullback, 20. Bryce knows immediately. Again, this is off tackle power. Kick wrap play. Now, we'll come back to that again. Little reverse. Guys, give that wide out some love. Easy reverse off belly. Come on, Glenn. Put your left shoulder down and get in the end zone. Now, remember where that tight side corner was against wing, tight wing? Now we'll go tight wing over after we saw where he was on the power play and we can get him out of there. Watch us get him out of there right here. He can't cause us that problem that he caused us on the power play in the previous alignment. So all we've done is flipped it over and gone wide out over, got him out of the way. Their defense is dead the same everywhere else. Great block by Barnett. Kick it, seal it, and we're gone. Good job, 54, seal. Look at that, guys. That's textbook. Kick by 20, seal by 54, cut by 3. Now we're playing Louisville St. X. Extremely well coached defensive football team in the semifinals. We shift, we motion, we flip the arrow out there. It's a running play, guys. You know, I, I think the first time we started playing the big, big, what you would consider super well-coached private schools, we had a tendency to want to, you got to be who you are. You know, your transparency when you deal with me, you know, you pretty much know who I am. And once we started just being who we were against these schools, we've had more success. We're going to run tight side belly sweep. We got him, guys. We got him. Watch the defensive end. He's so well coached, he squeezes. When he squeezes with the tight end, all he's doing is making himself easier to block by the dive back. The tight end releases. The safety has to honor him. The guard's looking to kick the corner. And that's a pretty good defense. We just went in 11 yards against untouched. Now we're unbalanced. Now these guys have done a great job of scouting us, breaking down our formations and our plays, so you can see what they're doing. They got a little X stunt to the belly hole. So the first time we went unbalanced and tried to run belly, they stuffed us pretty good. Now we've got some good coaches. Our line coach is outstanding. He was a head coach himself for many years. He's also the baseball coach. He knows what he's talking about. He said, look, as soon as we went unbalanced, they x stunt to the belly hole. Let's unbalance them and run belly sweep in a couple plays. We do, and we got them because they're forced defenders blitzing inside our tackle. We're out and rolling. Ah, I don't like the cut by their defender right there. Don't ever teach people to do that. Think about how it'd be if he's your son and he's a lead blocker. Wing T guys don't like that. It's against the rules, too, by the way, to cut pulling guards. I don't know why you would teach that. Now, somebody, I said earlier about uh, staying out of bad down and distance situations. We're in a second and uh, seven right here. I'm sorry, we're in a third and seven right here. We're going to get a very disciplined, good football team on a long count. We don't move because we script all our snap counts in practice. So when you're creating your play script, you got the play. So you might run, you know, R13 for us is belly weak. So I'm going to have R13, and then I've got another little column that says snap at the top of it. And I script all the snap counts. Takes about two extra minutes. Last, last play. Belly sweep to the tight side. We're running slot right, 13 sweep. Here we go. 
Inside release by the tight end. Brings the defensive end in. Forces the safety to backpedal. Hook by the dive back. Here comes 58, the guard looking for the corner. There's the safety, 17. Great job. A couple things in review, guys. Um, love my, uh, I don't know how you like my jokes at the beginning. Again, don't ever forget the wing T offense is a hot offense that all fans will want you to run, and every dad will think you're a genius, and no one will ever hear will throw the ball from the stands. But it's a great offense, and, and again, without belittling or, or belaboring the numbers, we've scored a ton of points doing it. In, in 2013, our kicker, a kid's name's Palmer Ward, made 102 of 105 PATs and set the, uh, was the leader in the nation that year and is the all-time leader in Kentucky for most number of PATs uh, for her career. So we've, we've scored a lot of points doing it. We love it. We, we have no problem sharing with other wing tee people what we're doing. Uh, your, my contact information are in the presentations, and I look forward to continuing to promote ChiefPigskin.com. I appreciate Nate for giving me the opportunity to speak. I appreciate Larry for the six-inch sub, no black olives, and I look forward to being back next year.